the final game. It is really happening. It is the ninth game in the best of nine. JYP starts to the bottom left of Altism Stronghold. He was the starting player for EG and he was able to take down four players of Team Liquid. He eliminated Teja, he took down In Control, he took down Hero and he was also able to take down Suppy. And then suddenly he, Liquid, Team Liquid was just standing there and was like, oh my god, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna send out Teja? And they send out Hero again, and Hero won against JYP, and suddenly he was able to win another match, and another match, and another match, and now it's a 4-4. Both of these Protoss players, at the bottom left JYP, and to the top right of Altazim, Liquid Hero, have been able to win four games in a row today. And now they are going up against each other again, for the third time. They are one-on-one -on -one right now, if you think about it, and this is the third game that they are playing today against each other. Who is going to take it? Who will deliver the final point for his team and win the team match here at the Acer Team Story Cup? This is going to be epic. We have cross position for both of them, and I, I love this game already. Like, the entire series was just so awesome. Hero, he could be the one who performs the reverse all kill. Or JYP, after he won four games, he could now crown his achievement today, get another victory, another map win, make not only Total Biscuit happy because JYP is on his fantasy uh, team, but all the EG fans out there who really want JYP to take this right now to make that happen. They had a rough start into the season. They they lost against Team Acer without taking a single map, but now they have the chance to take down Team Liquid. The probe has already been sent out by Hero. He's the first one to get some scouting information out there, and that's always a choice that you have to think about. Because in a big map like this, what are you going to scout in your opponent's main base? Are you going to get that early scout that you want, or will you scout him on the last position possible? Especially on a big map like this, it's mining time that you lose. It's a probe that's not mining for you, and over time, that accumulates like quite a bit. So you have to be really careful if you really do this. A lot of Protoss players don't really deem it worthy to send out that probe in the beginning. Jay JYP leaves himself quite a lot of time before he does that, moves down to the bottom right now, he will cross paths with his opponent's probe, and once he sees that, he will definitely know when he arrives at the bottom right that the spawning position for Hero is the top right, just because of the timing when they met each other. In the main base of Hero, we have immediately, after the cybernetics core is done, a Twilight Council. Twilight Council is currently being thrown down by Hero, and what is JYP doing? Right now, the pro of Hero is not even trying to get into the main base of his opponent. That's only the Zealot, but what's going to be the tech for JYP? Is he trying to get an expansion? No, he's going for the Stargate. It's going to be the Stargate tech against Twilight Council, and Hero could very well also just try to go maybe even into a Dark Shrine. We've seen him use this build before, but a Blink build here could really ruin JYP's day. Think about what happened in the game that Hero won against JYP. It was the Blink upgrade that won him the match. This time, though, it is indeed the Dark Shrine. He is going for the Dark Shrine and trying to make that happen, whereas we have for JYP with the Stargate, of course, the option to go into an Oracle and then have detection on the map, but if he does miss the DT and moves across the map and is all the way at the top right and Hero defends against the Oracle Harass, then the DT could wreck his entire main base. So things could get really nasty here, and for now, of course, the Mothership Core is out, and there it is the Phoenix. We have the Phoenix starting things off, and Hero once again lagging a little bit. That was a problem that he already had in one of the earlier games. Thank God he doesn't disconnect, because at this point, with the techs already in play, that would be very, very annoying. So let's have a quick look to the top right. Let's see what's going on there. We have not only the, the Dark Shrine being built, but also the Robo Facility. Not only will ha that help him with an Observer on his own, in case that uh, JYP decided to go into DTs, but at the same time, of course, a War Prison can go a long way here if you just get the DTs into the main base of your opponent. You still have to consider those Phoenixes, on the other hand, because they could, yeah, they will definitely wreck a War Prison if they ever find it. Forward pylon is already in position. We have one of them. The probe is still trying to sneak around a little bit. The phoenixes are so far not moving out, I guess. I mean, all the way at the bottom right, we had only the scout, nothing else. Where's that phoenix that we have so far? It's just hovering over here, and the DTs are moving in. DTs are moving in. There is no detection. There is no force field. No detection and no force field for JYP. He starts another Phoenix. The DTs, they move in. The first one is there. The second one on the way. Immediately an Oracle has been started. But he goes for the pilot. He goes for the pilot with a double DT. And of course, the first thing that JYP does is trying to drop another one. That Oracle is not going to finish. He's going straight for the 
Stargate, and that could be game. That could be game right here. Mothership Core is making its way over to the top right. The Phoenix is as well, and he's just killing everything here. He's taking down Harvesters. There's no mining going on any longer. He does not kill the Stargate. He knows there's no pile, and there's no need for him right now. He's just taking one unit after another. All the way at the top right, we have the Photon Overcharge dropped by Hero, making sure that this army can't move in. One stalk a little bit too far the front, immediately being lifted and taken out by the Phoenixes and the Mothership Core. But the bottom left, at the bottom left, Hero's DTs are wrecking the main base of JYP. JYP is trying to make something work. Yeah, he has another pylon over there, and that's one of the things that Hero doesn't really look at. He doesn't look at the pylon. We will have that Oracle in the game, but the Cybernetic Score is going to drop to the top right. We still have a little bit of an attempted control, but it is one DT for the defense, and that's all that he needs for now. The Photon Overcharge is still active as well. Those Stalkers a little bit too overconfident. They're moving in, and the DTs alone are going to wreck them already. This is something that he just can't really win. And the bottom left, on the other hand, we have now the Nexus being attacked. The Oracle is finally there. The probes are moving in, but he needs to do something. He wants to apparently just go for the counter aggression, move in with that Oracle to the top left. There's no production, no nothing at this point. We have everything just going down here. The Mothership Core goes down. Another Photon Overcharge in the last second has been dropped, though. DT and Stalker are still there. JYP lost his Nexus to the bottom left. He's losing everything here. And Hero, he builds even more Stalkers right now. The army supply it is of course in his favor already 11 against 15 JYP has no mining any longer here comes the Oracle here come the Phoenix as they do what they can the photon overcharge still active he's losing you have to GG hero with a reverse all kill against evil geniuses team liquid has pulled it off they needed a hero and he delivered five kills in a row JYP in the end not strong enough he had no detection a single pile and powering the Stargate getting taken out right off the bat and therefore nothing you could do against the DTs blindsided by the build that Hero chose congratulations to TL congratulations to Hero what an amazing series today absolutely mind-blowing that was Super fun to cast, and I hope that you go, guys enjoyed the team match today. Congratulations to Hero once again. Well deserved. Five wins in a row. Reverse killing evil geniuses.